It's called financial abuse. Our kupuna duped out of their savings by their own caregivers. But should that be seen as a separate, more serious crime? According to a study by the National Adult Protective Services Association, 90% of the abusers are family members or someone known to the victim. But the penalties for caregivers who abuse them could be getting tougher. Alex Erbal is digging deeper into the issue. Alex? Aloha, Kathy. According to the bill, a caregiver is any person who has temporary or permanent care, custody or supervision, or who has legal duty to care for the health of an elder. Lawmakers are still considering the total amount of money taken before the crime is considered a felony. Financial abuse against the elderly can include misusing ATM cards, stealing checks, or overcharging for in-home care provider services. The AARP Hawaii State Director says elder abuse from caregivers can have lasting impacts on the victims. You're talking about a group who are pretty much um, as vulnerable as you can get. They're dependent on their caregivers. And, uh, you know, the fact that it hasn't stopped or even slowed down at all tells you you have to put an appropriate penalty in order to make the behavior change. The bill wants to make it a felony when a caregiver financially exploits an elderly person. The next hearing will be held here at the state capitol on Monday. According to statistics from the Hawaii Department of Human Services, there were 214 cases of abuse, neglect, or financial exploitation last year. Why do you think it's important to make it a felony? Because there has to be a substantial penalty to deter this from happening. I mean, because when, when you do exploit the elderly, you actually leave them really in a, in a place in their life where they have nothing, they become depressed, and it's almost as um, like, you know, making them very, very ill. The Honolulu Police Department supports the measure, saying it provides an additional mechanism to protect the elderly. Through written testimony, the Honolulu Department of the Prosecuting Attorney suggested a threshold of $50,000 to classify the offense as nothing less than a Class A felony. Some critics of the bill say lawmakers should focus on programs that help the victims instead. It's a nonviolent crime. It's a nonviolent crime. Our judiciary system is already inundated. Our prison systems are already over full of prisoners. And if we could implement a system of... AARP has two free events next month to educate people about preventing older Americans from becoming victims of financial scams. You can find that information on our website, k2.com. Alex Serbal, k2.2 News.